baking soda for kidney disease? You heard about that? To take it or not? Welcome to the world of baking soda, the superstar of versatility. Use it for everything. Hi, I'm Dr. Ahmed Ergin. I'm an endocrinologist, a diabetes specialist, and I treat diabetic kidney disease every day. This humble ingredient is not just for baking mouth watering treats. Well, you shouldn't be watering on that, right? You're diabetic. But getting that sparkling clean shine sometimes, right? It has more tricks up its sleeve than you can imagine. Now, don't jump to the conclusion yet. I am not done yet, but I will tell you a few things that you want to know about baking soda and kidney disease. Let's take a deep dive into this marvelous world of sodium bicarbonate. Forget it as fancy chemical name. We know it as baking soda, the wonder substance that can do far more than simply help your cookies rise and get rid of uh, some stubborn stains. In fact, did you know that the sodium bicarbonate, oh, I said it anyway, right, <laughs> the name, is used to treat kidney disease? The kidney doctors use it, actually, the nephrologist. That's right. The Kidney Disease Outcomes Quality Initiative of the National Kidney Foundation. They recommend using baking soda to treat metabolic acidosis, a condition caused by high levels of acid in the blood. You don't want that. Believe me, our pH level or acid base level in our blood is a very tightly regulated thing. If it moves a little bit, you feel horrible. So who would have thought that something you keep in your pantry can play a role in such important medical treatments? Now, don't just jump and go and try to dump all the baking soda and start drinking and eating it. It's not as easy as you think. And that's why doctors will prescribe it to you. So what exactly is the purpose of sodium bicarbonate, though? Well, when doctors believe it is crucial for somebody's treatment, they will prescribe it at a certain level, not every kidney disease. So carrying a little extra sodium, though, these tablets act as a buffer to uh, lower the blood acid level. But actually, the, the bicarbonate in there is the most important part of it, actually. So it is important to remember only take them under the supervision of a doctor. It turns out that really this metabolic acidosis is more common, especially in advanced chronic kidney disease after stage three or four, or in dialysis patients. So you may wonder that, you know, what function does sodium bicarbonate serve in our bodies, right? So our amazing kidneys and lungs work together to maintain a healthy acid base balance within a narrow pH range, as I said. So the kidneys eliminate excess acid or help to do that through urine and produce a base called bicarbonate. Now, this bicarbonate neutralizes the acid, reducing its concentration. But meanwhile, the lungs help remove the acid by increasing our breathing rate through carbon dioxide, right? CO2, expelling that carbon dioxide, reducing the acid load. However, when kidney disease strikes, our kidneys struggle to keep this delicate balance. So consequently, an excess of acid builds up, leading to metabolic acidosis when your kidneys are not doing a great job. So let's talk about more about the chronic kidney disease and sodium bicarbonate. Researchers have discovered a link between advancing the CKD as the CKD gets worse, which is chronic kidney disease, your metabolic acidosis gets worse. So for those patients with kidney problems, the bicarbonate lab values, or we call it actual CO2 is another way of looking at it. If it is less than 22 millimole per liter, then the doctors often recommend sodium bicarbonate supplementation. Now, this basic sodium field superhero aids in neutralizing and reducing blood acid levels. Scientists have even studied whether bicarbonate supplementation can slow down the progression of CKD. Let's look into that. In a five-year study, participants with stage 2 hypertension, high blood pressure, associated CKD Stage 2 hypertension means like your blood pressure is over 160, over like 100. So 
basically, when you have that, you end up with a kidney disease. It's not just diabetes, by the way, right? So CKD or chronic kidney disease can happen from blood pressure alone. So they saw significant improvement when they use sodium bicarbonate compared to other treatments. Another analysis of various small studies, including chronic kidney disease patients, also showed promising results in slowing the CKD progression if they took sodium bicarbonate treatment. Now, let's turn our attention away from baking soda and dive into some other wonder substances that are making a name for themselves in kidney health. Now, benfetiamine is an important one, and alpha lipoic acid is another one. Now, it sounds like it's an acid, but it doesn't change your acidity in the blood. So alpha lipoic acid is just the name of the compound, but it doesn't give you an acid load just because the amount is so tiny. Benfetiamine is another superhero. These are two big names. Let's call them ALA and BFT for just to make it short, right? Instead of saying benfetiamine every time, I'm going to call it BFT and I'm going to call alpha lipoic acid ALA. Now, ALA is a powerful antioxidant that has been shown to help prevent the cell damage from even happening and restore the levels of the other antioxidants like vitamin E and vitamin C. Because if you have a lot of antioxidants that will help prevent the kidney damage. It even has potential for combating oxidative stress, a significant contributor to kidney disease. Now, researchers also found that the alpha lipoic acid or ALA can reduce the kidney damage in people with diabetes, which is one of the leading cause of kidney disease is, as you know, diabetes and the blood pressure. Now, on the other hand, the BFT, benfetiamine, which is a derivative of thiamine, also known as B1, it has been found to help protect against the harmful effects of high blood sugar levels. So again, which is a culprit in kidney disease damage, right? Or kidney damage causing kidney disease. So I have talked about these in other videos, particularly in people with diabetic nephropathy, or you can call it kidney disease from diabetes. BFT shows a lot of promise. It acts by blocking the pathways that lead to glucose induced damage, helping to protect those precious kidneys. Who knew that such a simple ingredient like baking soda or alpha lipoic acid and benfetiamine could have such a profound impact on our health and well-being? So if your doctor is not talking about these, talk to them. If they don't know anything about it, educate them. Next time you reach your trusty box of baking soda, remember it is incredible range of capabilities beyond just baking and cleaning. It's like having a versatile sidekick ready to save the day. Thanks for watching. For the benfetiamine and alpha lipoic acid neuropathy support that has both, please visit sugarmds.com. And until next time, stay healthy, stay happy. Talk to you later. Hey guys, I hope you're enjoying this channel so far and I hope you subscribed already. Uh, if you didn't, do it. And if you did, watch this video right there. I think that will help you too.